For weeks, I have been fighting for my sons and their futures. I know. And I didn't realize the toll it was taking on us. But I do now, and I will fight just as hard for you. That's all I wanted to hear. No, you it's say. not just words, Jax. I mean it. Tell me you believe it. Tell me. this now. Let me just try to be clear about what happened and why. About what we want. Oh God, Jax, I want you. I want you and I need you. You know, we're, we were both dealing with what happened to Michael in you know, different ways. I mean, I'm a fixer, you know. I started gathering facts and making arrangements and you, on the other hand, you, you you're the exact opposite, you know? You're impulsive and emotional. You had all these things going through your mind and you didn't know what to do. I you. just want things to be different. You know, different from how they were with Michael. I want Morgan to be safe and I want him to feel safe. And I want you to go on being his father and I want you to go on being my husband. And I don't want you to think I take you for granted because I don't. Hey, well, don't just tell me what I want to hear. I'm not. Okay, because if we're going to make it through this, we're, we're gonna have to be honest, okay? We gotta lay it all out on the table, the good and the bad. Tell me that you're mad at me for making you see the truth about Michael. You know, it turns out you were right about everything. I wasn't there when Michael was shot. No, I, I came in from the outside. And maybe that's why I was able to hear the doctors when they told us that Michael wasn't coming back. And I didn't think it was fair to let you live in denial. But suddenly now I realize that you know, how, how you must have felt once I started making arrangements for Michael's long-term care. Jax, I was angry at everyone, especially me. Hell, I'm angry at fate and life. And every self-centered choice I've made, I'm angry because my kid is laying in a bed for the rest of his life. But you were there and you took the brunt of it and I'm sorry for that. I am. Um, I just... I want to move past it. I want to let go. I just don't know how. I know I can't hang on to my grief over Michael forever because it's not fair to you. And it's not fair to Morgan, but I can't just pretend like it never happened and forget and move on. I don't know how to do that. You know, you know, when you fly a plane and you make the slightest shift in course, you, you don't even notice it at first. But the further you fly, the further you get away from your original destination. And that's how we do this. We make small changes. You know, you find the joys in every day, watching Morgan grow up, seeing the world through his eyes, and then before you know it, you'll feel a little better, and things will get easier. I don't know if I can do that. I'll be right here with you. especially after showing up in Michael's. I see you the way that I did, but Jason and the Zakaras are going to war. And I think you're the only one who can stop it. Registers Sonny signed over custody of Michael and Morgan to Carly, which means Carly no longer wants anything to do with this. This isn't Sonny. This is Jason, and Jason listens to you. This may sound out of line, well, but... Well, in case I didn't make myself clear, we're in the middle of something. You can hate me for doing this, but after what happened to Michael, I'm not going to stand by and let the violence get worse. So I'm just asking you to talk to Jason before somebody else gets hurt. Okay, first of all, I don't hate you. There is nothing you can do to stop this. Well, though, it's the way the business works. And anyone close to it is going to get hurt. That's the way it is. 
Lulu show up here and try to drag you back into this mob insanity? Because she loves Johnny and she thinks if she doesn't say the word, she can control how she feels. Uh, she knows what we're going through and she knows that she was out of line. Johnny could get hurt, or, or worse, if this violence with Jason escalates. Jax, she's going to try and do anything she can to stop that from happening. I get that. I don't hear you talking about Lulu right now. I hear you talking yourself into getting involved. And I'm going to ask you not to. Stay out of it, Carly. Let Jason deal with this himself. I'm not going to get involved in Jason's business. And besides, he wouldn't listen to me anyway. That is not the same as staying away. Jason is more dangerous than Sonny right now. I've talked to Jason. He's not coming anywhere near the house, and he's not coming anywhere near Morgan. Right. But you intend to continue your, your friendship with him. Even though it could bring the same violence down on Morgan, that put Michael in a coma. Morgan will be safe, Jax. How can you say that? Jason did not want to take over. He did it for me. So now he's a target, and he's alone, and I will not desert him. So after all the hell you've been through, after all the grieving that you've done for your son, you've learned absolutely nothing. 